Hi everyone, this is Honeywell and I'm playing Banished. This is episode 8 of The Perfect Town. When we last left off, we were building up our trade area and I believe we were going to go ahead and start developing our pastures too. It's been a few days, so we'll go around and see what we were doing. Uh, we're going to buy some logs and coal here. Logs and coal are good. What is that? 550? Maybe. Okay, dismiss. Thank you. Um, let's see what we have here. 781 venison to trade. We'll buy some apples for our taverns that are going to be up sooner or later. And bean seeds. I think all we have is wheat. Wheat and corn, we do want bean seeds. Beans are one of the crops that we want to stockpile to ensure everyone has a varied diet. Uh, a little less. And anything else while we're at it? Uh, that's good for now. And one more trader. Uh, one of the things we're going to be working on is is getting these set up for automatic trade because this can get excessive. It's fun at first, but after a while, it just becomes a, a chore to deal with all of the traders. So, so we'll get that taken care of. Probably not in this episode or the next episode. It will take a while to, to get that in motion, but that is something that we're working towards. Um, and let's get some more taverns set up. Now, eventually, we're probably going to start encroaching on this Forester hub. But for right now, we'll keep it, uh, we'll try and keep it to a minimum. And storage is an issue over here. We'll get up some more barns. Um, unpause some more houses. Corn and pepper, not yet, thank you. Now, there, I'm going to have more trading posts over here, and I'll have a group of barns through this mountain for these trading posts to store whatever they purchase. But I don't have it exactly all planned out yet, so that's going to wait. 40,000 is our food limit. We're going to go ahead and raise that up to 80. Uh, doubling the amount of food that we have right now. Yeah, storage is an issue. There's a couple more barns over here. We have a more barns planned for over here, so we're going to go ahead and get some of those in. And I think we're going to go ahead and unpause this marketplace and some of these houses as well.
And this is something that I usually um, put off until I'm overflowing with textiles, is uh, creating some tailors for for create, um, making wool coats to sell. But I'm going to try and be proactive this time and get that set up before wool is overtaking all of my barns. And since we're opening up this area, we're going to put it in a schoolhouse. Nothing unusual in that. And a few tailors. I also have... I believe I wanted a fishing hut over here as well. And more barns. Okay, that's enough for over here for now, I think. Our tunnels are being made. Um, I'm gonna wanna fill in some houses over here. Uh, not so much because the area needs the houses, um, but it gives an even distribution of your laborers. So if I have something in the area that needs to be done, there's um, people around to take care of that. And let's see what's going on back here. Oh no. Uh, I hate to do this. But this grave is not in the right place. I want that up against the road. So I'm going to be changing that. Otherwise it's going to drive me insane. And in the meantime, I guess we can put up a small cemetery behind the church. If I can get it right. Is that right? I don't know that that, that is. Okay, we'll put a small 8x8 eight eight there. Can't believe I did that. I can't believe I'm deleting it instead of just leaving it the way it is. But that's gonna bug me, so yeah. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and put some more barns over here. Because I have all of these Forester hubs back here. Um, the leather is going to start to pile up. It already is 172 leather, and it's going to clog these storage barns. So I'm going to put a tailor back here as well uh, to make some warm coats for the population and use up some of that leather, hopefully. And I'm assuming the tailor is just going to come over here to the marketplace and grab the leather for the warm coats, but then these vendors should pull the the leather to restock the marketplace from from these barns.
Why is there no forest here? Did I just set these up? I think I did, didn't I, last episode? It's been a few days since we've, uh... Since I've played. And... Since I'm back here doing this, you can... Yeah, this is new. They should be getting somewhere. Well, this... Placement isn't exactly ideal, but they should still be getting close to 300 logs, so I'm going to assume that this is still very new. Yeah, the same. They should, the woodcutter should be cutting somewhere near a uh, thousand. More like this one over here, 333 logs last season. Uh, two gatherers, not a bad haul for two gatherers. It's not ideal though. I think if I wasn't cutting these forests as aggressively as I do, the gatherers might do a little better. Or not. The deer I really don't have any control over. Um, bands of deer migrate around the map and because there's so many forest hubs around here, um, each time the group of deer uh, wander from one side to the other, one of the hunters are picking one of those deer off out, out of the group, so... So I imagine the herds are pretty small. Like here we have a... one... two, three... That's small, so I'm assuming that some of the hunters are already started thinning out that group. And the more deer spawn in the spring. And 600 this year. And 464. Yeah, these areas are still new. Oh, I did want some bridges from these tunnels, so we can go ahead and put those in. If you haven't guessed, today's episode is uh, just me going around, taking a look at what's happening in the town. Very laid back and low-key. Nothing, nothing too exciting going on. A couple bridges. Yeah, the herds are pretty depleted. They have this single deer here. And another. There's only, what? Well, this one's a little bigger. One, two, three, four, five. Five in that group. Oh, didn't we just buy coal? Let's change these over to steel tools and we'll up the limit to 500. And don't... yeah. Well, not that there's much left, but we'll p employ this blacksmith as well. Let them work through some of that coal that we just purchased. I'm going to assume we're having a terrible harvest here. Still not bad. Well, that is. 617. That's not good at all. But I believe this barn is full. And this one was almost full. So you can see how much um, your placement of barns can impact impact your food production. Here's a nice large herd of deer. And they're probably large because there's no hunting cabins around this side of the map. Sorry guys. So we have some barns going up. Mm. More bridges.
And let's see. See if I can get this right. I remember when I was initially planning this out, it was a little tricky. Now these three trading posts that I set up over here, I'm going to actually have these um, auto purchase food. I should really have the game paused while I do that because I think this person is going to start trying to build this here. bridges and more tunnels and I'm going to go ahead and pause all of this stuff And I'm also going to reclaim that house. I don't want anyone who's single moving in there. I'm sure there's somebody available to move in with them. Maybe there's somebody to move in. And the reserve of stone is low, which is not surprising. It looks like there's some people working out here though. Okay, let's see, we have a 17 and an 18 year old, good. A couple laborers, good. And it looks like this family was split up though. Um, couples only form between um, citizens that are within 20, 20 years of each other. 
So a an 18 and a 38 year old, fine. An 18 year old and a 40 year old, not fine. And we don't need cattle. But thank you. So when you saw, when you see a big age disparity like that, um, chances are that that was a house that was broken up and it was a parent with their children and not a new couple. Oh, and it looks like we have a fire. Uh, let's see how much is going to burn down. I have a well right there, but I've found that that doesn't mean all that much. The firefighting has improved so much um, from when the game was first released, but honestly it still seems pretty random to me. Not as random as it did. Or it could just be those are in more higher population maps and my CPU isn't able to keep up with the simulations, and that might cause the fires to, to seem more random. Huh? Not bad at all. Everything looked like it worked as intended. There was a well right there, and it, it took care of it, so, so that was good. I think it might be at, um, higher population maps that that the firefighting isn't quite what it should be, I don't think. And we have another trader. And again, we'll trade away our thousand venison for some other crops. In this case, you'll see I have a preference for apples lately, just because we are going to start brewing soon. And apples are going to be the fruit of choice. And there's a small amount of stone that we'll buy. And that's about it. 1,400. Uh, so what is that? Three, 350? Okay, 350. Okay, I think this is going to be a real short episode um, this time. And we don't need any of this, so we'll go ahead and dismiss that. Um, we put some more buildings in place, fleshed this out a little bit, started over here to get to get a second little uh, trading area up. Also started over here where we're going to have uh, take advantage of all of these animal pastures and start producing some wool coats to trade. Uh, we put it in a marketplace, but nothing really got finished. But that's okay. So when we come back, we'll probably raise the speed a little bit so uh, so some of these building projects that we have can get done, and we'll continue to work towards um, getting some automatic trading done so we don't have to keep coming back. Okay, uh, if you made it this far, thank you for watching, and we'll be back with Episode 9.